Howdy folks, Colin Kelly here with Do Business Smarter. And today I wanted to give you some quick tips on the three phases of your selling conversations, your conversion conversations. So let's jump right in. First thing I want you to understand is nobody wants your crap. Nobody wants the things you're selling or the services you're selling. What they want is the result that they're going to get if they hire you, if they buy your product, or if they buy your service. They want the end benefit of what it is. They don't want the actual product or the service. They want the end benefit. And in the old style of selling, people went through this horrible, you know, quick introduction, qualifying, pre presenting the product and service, overcoming objections, and then using one of those ridiculous 42 power closes to try and close the deal. Whereas today's type of selling, and I say today, but I call it nothing new because it's been around for about 15, 20 years. Sales is about building relationships, identifying the prospects, true wants, needs, pains, fears, and desires, anchoring your presentation to what they want, meaning you link your solution to their problem, you communicate the value and then if everything makes sense they they want to do business with you because understanding sales is all about really embracing the fact that professional salespeople are in the business of helping other people once you own that in your mind and in your heart sales become easy because until sales become easy folks you're going to continue to struggle in your business because you're going to have poor cash flow and you're not going to have the clients that you need to have to make your business work. And the goal is that you should get to love selling. Really understand that when you're helping people, it feels great, they appreciate it, you get to love selling. So the three phases in all great sales conversations are, first of all, you need to build, then you're going to move into asking, and then you're going to present. Not like the old style where it was all about presenting, you build, ask, and present. So what do you build? Well, you need to build rapport. You need to build trust. You need to build their confidence in you and in your company. And you need to build the value of what you're selling. Once you've done that in the first few minutes of the meeting, you can then move into the asking portion, which in my mind is the most underutilized part of a sales conversation. You're going to ask about them, their situation, their problems, their goals, their pains, fears, and desires. You need to ask all the things that are going on with them. So you get a thorough understanding of what it is they're trying to solve, what problem they're trying to solve so you can figure out if you're a fit. And once you're clear on all of their needs, then you can move into the presentation part where you're presenting that you, first of all, that you are a fit, that you can help them, presenting your solution with the features, the logical benefits and the emotional benefits, presenting the value and presenting your price and your paperwork. And if you do this well, you'll find that you will get to love sales and your income will increase, your profits will increase and sales become easy. So build rapport, build trust, build confidence, build value. Ask about them, their issues, their problems, their goals. Present your solution, your value. Talk about the price and present your paperwork and close the deal. If you get those pieces right, folks, you will find that your life will become easier, your cash flow will become better. And so I really encourage you to dedicate some time every single day towards sales and getting really good at your conversion conversations. That's my tip for the day, folks, and I will see you all soon.